Nowadays, all you hear is about AI editing and whatnot, but still, it's not making as such as a good job as you want. Probably editing a podcast, that's fine. You can detect the the talk, the speaker, and the t- who's talking and whatnot. And so there's a couple of tools, and I'll be bringing some of those tools here to explain how you can edit faster. But this is the old way where you can actually edit a lot of things way fast and for example if you're doing just charts or reels and you want to edit really fast i have these three keys that i always teach this in my courses that are just simply amazing because it will make your editing much much faster Welcome, my name is Gonzalo here from Videology and today we are talking about three keys that makes our editing way faster and I'm just showing in uh, DaVinci but this can be made in Premiere or Final Cut whether whether which one software you use you can customize your keys and all of them you can use this. I use three, the the, the DaVinci, Final Cut and Premiere and I use these three keys all in uh, them, all of them. So the first thing you need to do, for example, if we are here inside, the, in this case DaVinci, I'm on the edit page. What I'm looking for is, for example, to edit faster, you can always rely on the audio. So if you go here, you increase the audio and the waveform. And you can see by the waveform already, if you have good quality sound and everything, you can already see where you need to be doing the cuts. So this will make easier. But instead of going here, using shortcuts to cut, and then you might cut like this, make a cut, or make a cut like this you could do it faster like this and you can do the cuts where you already know there are some spaces and then make a selection probably select like this one uh, and select this space I'm missing a cut here so I'll just do it again and let's say I select this command select all of these and I could always use shift delete to delete all of them at the same time and just grab them all together. If you're editing in Final Cut, for example, because of the magnetic timeline, this will always also happens. Or even if you're editing on the cut page, this will all also happens because they're magnetic timelines and they squeeze all the things together. But another way to do it, and this was really fast, as you can see, but you have to do the selection again. What I usually do is I'll go into keyboard customization. Okay, so once you get into the keyboard customization, all you need to do is find the end to playhead here on the trim and to playhead. So end to playhead, we're going to do the W and assign. And we're going to remove the issue. So it has it's on end to play head. The dynamic trim mode also has W, so I'll remove that one. Then I'll go again on the trim, and I'll go again on the ripple, and on the start to play head, I'll hit the Q. I'll fix the issue also. Source timeline viewer, I don't want that. Just the start to play head. And for the cut, I'll use E. I'll remove already these shortcuts here. And I'll just find razor here on all comments and here I'll hit E and I'll press save. I have to give a name for my keyboard customization. So I'll make 10 times faster editing. Okay. This will be here on top. You can see the other already, uh, the default, the default for Premiere Pro, Final Cut, uh, Vid or Pro Tools. And now we have the 10 times faster editing and we just hit close. Now, once we go on the editing, let's say I want to, instead of making a cut, then selection, shift delete, and this will bring all things back. What you need to do is just hit one key. And this, in this case, because it's from playhead to beginning, I'll hit the Q and there we go. 
Now, because we want to keep this part and we want to remove this, what I need, this is where the E comes in handy because I'll just hit E, then I'll go to here and I'll hit Q because it's from here to the beginning of the clip like this. So you can see that it, this becomes really fast to make the edits like this, this, so E, Q, E, Q. If you want to do it the other way, you can make the cut here and hit W and it will bring everything together. Then you can, let me not zoom on this, just command scroll, in my case using a Mac command scroll, or if you have like the Logitech Magic uh, Logitech mouse, the MC's master, you can use the wheel and then you can make a cut, Q, cut, Q, cut, Q, and you can see how fast we're doing this. And this become makes your editing way, way faster because all you need to do is find the places where you already know that you're going to cut with the audio is very useful and instead of just doing a bunch of clicks, this will make your editing way faster. I really hope you enjoyed this. This is all for the tutorial for today. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.